Yo guys, Beast, back with some more Beastly content. So today I am going to be doing a mixed fuel farm. It is located in this area we just teleported to. There is a teleport tower here. Now I am going to go ahead and show you the map just one more time so you know where we are actually at here. Uh, so first things first, the main tip here is, uh, and we are located just outside of the Broken Delta monolith here. We're like to the right of it. There's that second teleport tower to the right of the Broken Delta monolith. Anyway, so all you do is find yourself a dirt road. Uh, and every single vehicle for the most part found on a dirt road will have fuel in it So we're just gonna go through here and in the next seven minutes We're gonna collect 40 mixed fuel uh, And I say seven minutes, but I do believe it's gonna be more like the next five minutes We are going to be collecting 40 mixed fuel guys So as you can see here, here is the first car at the start of the run We're going to be doing one of my favorite dirt road runs However, all dirt roads usually will have a ton of mixed fuel on them as you can see there I do believe we got two two or three three there that should have been two though uh, but I do believe we ended off with like 36 almost 40 I think I said 40 a second ago but I mean almost 40 we could have gotten it we could have found one more car but I just didn't really feel like it you know what I'm saying uh, but as you can see here just every so many feet really there's another broken down car with some more mixed fuel in it I figured I'd show you this spot because it's a dirt road that's located nearby a level 12 and 17 area. As a matter of fact, the part of the Broken Delta that we are currently in is actually a level 12 area, meaning uh, that all the enemies will spawn at level 12, and as long as you're level 12, you can go here. This is like the second monolith, so most people should be at this monument by now. Even if they haven't beaten this monument, you will be able to do the farm just by being able to go to the broken delta that's how all my guides usually try to be uh, and as you can see here sometimes there are stretches of gravel roads because some of these are kind of more like forest paths than actual gravel roads also you see that walking uh walking bus guy there if you haven't seen my acid guide link down below uh just so you know them acid dudes there they are the unlimited acid farm that you need that you didn't know about so anywho so as you can see here another car we just looted it now You'd think this would be the end of the run. It's the end of this gravel road. But as you can see, there's another gravel road on the map. It's just directly over there. So we're going to go ahead and hop back on our motorcycle and continue the farm here, guys. Super duper easy. This is honestly my favorite fuel run area just because it's so quick. Well, I say it's my favorite, but it's my favorite for at least this level. I will say once you beat this monolith, the ride to... Uh, the next level 25 area that you need to go to or the next area you need to go to the next camp uh, The entire drive there. There's nothing but cars and cars and cars uh, So that's where I loaded up on gas at. I mean, I'm already at 90 something mixed fuel I only drive the motorcycle. I don't really plan on driving anything else Honestly, just because I feel like the motorcycle is going to be the most fuel efficient because anything else you have to make the premium barreled fuel and it takes a hundred mixed fuel to make premium barreled fuel uh, and I think you might be able to just straight manufacture fuel. I'm not 100% sure on that. It might be like a only making barrel fuel and you have to find the mixed fuel in order to make it. Or maybe you can make it with acid. I'm not sure on that. But as for a farm, uh, and honestly, for any of your real mixed fuel needs, if you're just riding on the motorcycle, for you can play the entire game on the motorcycle. You don't need a car. Uh, but the cars do require a better premium fuel, of course. Like I said, uh, but this is just the best farm for newer players, even in-game players, really. I mean, this is a ton of mixed fuel here. This will do, like, this is almost two full tanks in the motorcycle, which is a whole lot to get done just by going to a teleport tower and driving down a gravel road, hopping out and checking the trunks of cars. Super duper easy mixed fuel farm here. This is honestly... Uh, one of the better farm spots like I have said I do believe the way to the next area objectives if you go through all the dirt roads you will be getting a lot there so I just realized I don't have a single axe here uh, I must have broke my axe while I was gathering resources earlier and I didn't realize it or I dropped it in a battle when I was doing that dang monolith I died to again so I've challenged the current monolith I'm on three times and died to stupidity all three times uh, and yeah but as I was saying here, uh, this is the best fuel farm. Uh, the simplest, this is just how you farm fuel. That's just what this is trying to tell you here. Uh, dirt roads have the most fuel. Other places like main roads, even if you see a lot of cars, you're not really guaranteed for the trunk to have any fuel in it. On a dirt road, you're pretty much guaranteed every single trunk is going to have fuel in it. Now, if it's a truck or something, that's another question because I don't actually think fuel spawns out of trucks. But if you do find a car, nine times out of ten on a dirt road, it's going to have fuel in it. 
that's where you need to be going to get your fuel at. You may have went to like a parking lot full of cars and none of the trunks opened and it made you infuriated. And well, of course, they're not going to put 20 cars right beside each other. Uh, but on a gravel road, they pretty much are 20 cars right beside each other. I mean, you hop on your motorcycle and it's literally like 10 seconds in between each car. 15 seconds max, honestly. 15, 20 at the very most on these long stretch portions where it takes a minute to find another car. But still, I mean, this is just, this is, this is great. I mean, farming fuel is so easy. If you don't have fuel, you just don't know where to go. Uh, it's just about going to gravel roads and farming the cars there. And this is my favorite gravel road to go down, I have to say. I mean, this is just such a quick run. I can just instantly teleport here. You start directly at the teleport tower and just drive down the gravel road right beside it. You don't have to travel anyway. It's away from the gra the travel tower in order to actually get to the gravel road or anything it's just straight go to the teleport tower and start driving down the gravel road check every trunk and you will walk away with almost 40 gas or mixed fuel uh, as the game calls it uh, super duper easily I mean really if you did this farm twice or three times you'd be able to make one barrel of premium fuel which you know I mean that, that really sucks but uh, it's okay I guess uh, and as you can see here, here's a little bonus one. This really isn't on a gravel road, but there was a car at the end of the gravel road just on the highway, just directly up, not very far at all. Uh, and our motorcycle is almost dead, so we're just going to be heading home. But I am going to get out of here, guys. Go ahead and leave a like and comment on the video if you did enjoy it, and keep it beast mode.